One of the righteous companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and all of them are righteous. And this is the second caliph, was Umar radiallahu anhu. He reported a hadith that says Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam. At that moment, no, none of them knows that this is Jibreel because he came in the human being format. Angels, they have this uh, uh, ability Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them. So he came in one of the format of human being, but no one knows him in Medina. So he looks a stranger. But when they look at him, his physical appearance is showing them that no, he's part of the, the community here. In the end, he went to the Prophet ﷺ with respect. And he put his hands on the thigh of the Prophet ﷺ. According to some scholars, he put his hands on, the, on his own thigh. And then he put his knees to the knees of the Prophet ﷺ. And then he asked the Prophet ﷺ a couple of questions. The first one about Islam, the nature of Islam. The second one about Iman. And the third one about something which is bigger than that, which we call Ihsan. You have Islam, you have Iman, and then Ihsan. The highest level of Iman, the faith, is to become Muhsin. Muhsin is when you reach the level of worshipping Allah subhanahu as if you see Allah subhanahu in front of you. It used to be like that. Nowadays, Wallahu Mustan. If you don't see Allah subhanahu He sees you. This is the second level. And then after all of this, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked by Jibreel, Angel Gabriel, about the hour, the day of judgment. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam looked at him and said to him, actually, the one who is asked has no knowledge of the day of judgment. What I have is not more than what you have. You don't know it and I don't know it. Brothers and sisters, there is a point that I would like to draw attention on here. You see, we believe the greatest man that Allah SWT created is Muhammad SAW. He's the best on earth that Allah SWT ever sent down for humankind, for mercy. And the greatest angel that Allah SWT created is Jibreel alayhi salatu Allah SWT called him Muta'in Thamma Amid. Even in the heavens, the angel listen to him, they obey him. He is their leader. So if the angel, who is the greatest angel amongst all of them, Jibreel alayhi salatu has no knowledge of the Day of Judgment. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam here on earth also did not make any further. He told him that I don't know anything about that. If these two high personalities don't know anything about the day, what do you think of someone who calls, calls himself a media can tell you about the Day of Judgment? When we were young, they told us it will happen on Wednesday. We were waiting playing on the ground, waiting for the Wednesday to come. Wednesday passed, and the Day of Judgment did not appear. We don't have knowledge, still kids, so we thought maybe it's true, we can enjoy seeing how it is. It doesn't appear. Last few years ago, they told us that it will happen when? 2012. <laughs> they extended somehow. Uh, they said uh, 2012, December, I guess. They gave an exact date. They did a nice job because they make it on Friday. So the Muslims will agree with them. So many, many people, I was surprised to see many, many Muslims were talking about this issue. The Day of Judgment is going to happen. The hour will happen on, I mean, uh, 2012. I was enjoying to see, how, I mean, my time to see what will happen in 2012. And maybe these people, we cannot trust them at all. They are planning something to come and destroy everyone and say, okay, the judgment happened. Maybe that was the reason. So, alhamdulillah, they themselves, they came, they said those Mayan calendars and whatsoever they depended on were wrong. They found the mistake, so they canceled that idea. They will keep on being wrong because the best of the best did not know. And the best amongst the angels did not know. And this is only because the knowledge of the Day of Judgment is with Allah SWT alone. He said, إِنَّ اللَّهَ عِنْدَهُ عِلْمُ السَّاعَةِ وَيُنَزِّلُ الْغَيْثَ وَيَعْلَمُ مَا فِي الْأَرْحَامِ وَمَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ مَا لَا تَكْسِبُ غَدَى وَمَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ بِأَيِّ أَرْضٍ تَمُوتِ These are the things, five things that Allah SWT called them مَفَاتِحُ الْغَيْب in Surah Al-An'am. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Allah is talking about this. The keys to the unseen. I mean, things that no one knows how they are, and when are they going to happen, except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first one he mentioned is that knowledge of the Day of Judgment. 
No one knows. So brothers and sisters, what I want you to remember here is relax. No one knows when is it going to happen except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To give you the exact date, this one is lying. To give you the day, yeah. The Prophet said it will happen on Friday. 